to Johnabelle Farm, home of the Darley Stallions. I'm Kate Galvin, and since we won't be having a 2020 open house, we thought we'd give you a stallion show, showing you our 2021 roster of stallions. We're gonna talk about Medaglia Oro first. So Medaglia Oro is the leader of the Darley Stallion roster. He stands for 150,000 in 2021. Um, and not only is he an elite stallion in America, but he's an elite stallion worldwide. Starting off, I mean, his racing career, he was a top level American dirt horse. He ran 17 times and won three grade ones um, in the Travers, the Whitney, and the Don. Um, and he was first or second in 15 starts and ran 14 triple digit buyers. So when he retired to stud, he was really perceived as this dirt option of the El Prado line. Um, since Medallia came to stud in his first crop, he had Rachel Alexandra. She obviously burst onto the scene and escalated his value to one of the top young stallions in America. In the years that follow, Medallia had an onslaught of grade one winners. But what started happening was in addition to getting these top dirt horses like Rachel Alexandra or Songbird, along comes horses like Bolt Dioro, Bar of Gold, Talismanic, and in one year, 2017, Medallia Dioro had seven individual grade one winners in America. And that was really the year that he went from being a top American sire to a top international sire, and one that uh, began to be supported at the sales more heavily by international operations and in the breeding shed. In 2018, Medallia Duro had eight million dollar yearlings, so obviously reaping the rewards of that 2017 racing season. In 2020, Medallia Duro had four yearlings bring a million dollars or more, and in the last five years, that brings us total to 20 yearlings that have brought a million dollars or more, and no other stallion can match that. Medallia de Oro is great value for elite operations that are trying to hit the top of the market, whether it's in the sales ring or on the racetrack. The next horse I'm gonna show you is Nyquist. Nyquist is standing the 2021 season for 75,000 live bull stand and nurse. You are looking at the champion freshman sire of 2020. Nyquist is by emerging sire of sires Uncle Mo. He has an absolutely flawless sales and race record himself. Nyquist has basically been a commercial golden child since the day he was born. First, he sold for $180,000 as a foal. Second, he sold for $230,000 as a yearling and next he sold for $400,000 as a two-year-old in training. So everybody who touched this horse did well. Then he goes on to his race record. And I like to tell people when they come to Darley, you can go to other breeding sheds in Kentucky and you'll see other grade one winning two-year-olds. You'll see other Breeders' Cup Juvenile winning two-year-olds. You'll even see other Kentucky Derby winners. But only at Darley and only Nyquist can claim that he went undefeated through a championship two-year-old season and the Kentucky Derby. And during that time, he won five grade ones. So this is a horse who put it all together, both commercially and on the racetrack, and retired to stud with great support. Nyquist confirmed his position as the leader of the 2020 Freshman Sires at the Breeders' Cup when his daughter, Viquist, won the Juvenile Phillies and he's the first horse in Stantic to have two grade one winners in their first crop before the end of September. Viquist and Gretzky the Great are now joined by 12 other winners in Nyquist's first crop. And we couldn't be more excited for this young son of Uncle Mo and the future at Darley. Next, I'm gonna show you Street Sense. Street Sense is going to stand the 2021 season for $60,000. Street Sense was a three-year-old in 2007 and is the winner of the 2007 Kentucky Derby and Travers. Street Sense is part of that 2007 crop of three-year-olds that included Hard Spun and Curlin. Street Sense is now the sire of seven grade one winners, including McKinsey, who's won four grade ones and has just been announced at stud for $30,000. Street Sense is also the sire of undefeated Maxfield, winner of the Grade 1 Breeders' Fee Charity and the Grade 3 Matt Win. In 2020, Street Sense leads the American sires with four graded stakes winning dirt colts led by McKinsey, Maxfield, Casadero, and Shared Sense. Street Sense on the racetrack, you'll remember, 
was a two-year-old champion, winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and is also the first horse ever to have won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and the Kentucky Derby. So next we're gonna show Bernardini. When I show Bernardini, I always say to folks, this is the oil painting. He reminds me so much of just your a classic American dirt stallion. And he resembles not only his sire, APND, but his grandsire, Seattle Slough, so much when you look at him. He has proven to be a top level dirt stallion with 12 grade one winners. And in 2020, those horses are led by Art Collector, who won the Bluegrass Stakes, Lady Kate, who was second to Monomoy Girl recently in the La Troyenne, Grand Cru Class A, who was third in the Raven Run Stakes at Keeneland, and Micheline, who was second in the QE2 at Keeneland. Those 2020 results have been remarkable for Bernardini. For this price point, he is a lot of bang for your buck. And then he adds in his broodmare sire statistics, which he, in 2020, became the youngest horse ever to reach 10 individual grade one winners as a broodmare sire. And they're led by horses like Serengeti Empress, Gretzky the Great, Maxfield, and Paris Lights. At Bernardini's price at 35,000, and with his number of grade one winners, and his ability to help shape your broodmare band or give your mare a real chance right off the bat at stud, you really can't miss at this price. Next, I'm gonna show you Hartspun. Hartspun is a big, imposing son of Danzig, and he's going to stand for 35,000 in 2021. Hardspun himself was part of that vintage crop of three-year-olds with street sense. Um, he won his grade one going seven furlongs in the grade one King's Bishop at Saratoga. He was also an undefeated two-year-old. At stud, he's the sire of 10 individual grade one winners. And while Hardspun won his grade one going seven furlongs in the King's Bishop, most of his top level progeny have shown the ability to go a route of ground, winning grade ones from eight to 10 furlongs. They've won nearly every good race there that is out there. He's got winners of the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, the Wood Memorial, the Jenny Wiley, the Gamely, the Arlington Million, the Coaching Club American Oaks, the Ashland, the Alabama, the Mother Goose, among others. Hartspun wrapped up 2019 fourth on the General Sires list, and he had three three-year-olds win grade ones on the dirt. Only Mr. Prospector has ever had more from a single crop. Hardspun, like Bernardini, is one of these proven horses that it is very hard to find parallels for under 50,000. This next horse is Frosted. It is very hard for me to not get excited when I say Frosted is going to be $25,000. I think he represents some of the best value and most upside on our roster. Frosted is best known as the Tappet Sun, who ran the fastest ever grade one Met Mile, running the fastest ever buyer at a mile of 123. In his first two books, he covered the best mares by CI and CPI. Frosted is the sire of 11 winners in his first crop, and what winners they are. Two of whom have been named TDN Rising Stars, and three who have run 80 buyers or more. Travel Column, his filly who's grade one place in the Darley Alcibiades and points for the Goldenrod next. 10 for 10, who recently placed in the grade three Nashua Stakes. And Inspector Frost, a Godolphin homebred pointing for the Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes. Frosted is the kind of horse that it's probably more a question of when, not if, he'll get a big horse. And I think he's tremendous value at 25,000. The next horse I'm gonna show you is Street Boss. He's a strong, solid horse, capable of getting you a runner or a sales horse, and he will be 15,000 in 2021. And I think he's great value at that price, especially for a young mare to get to such a good proven stallion. Street Boss is the sire of four grade one winners, and what races they are. The Kentucky Oaks, the Arkansas Derby, the King's Bishop, and the American Oaks. In 2020, Street Boss again is among the leading two-year-old sires in America. Only Into Mischief and Constitution can top his six two-year-old stakes horses this year. 
Next, I'm going to show you Midshipman, who's standing for 7,500 in 2021. Midshipman is just the model of consistency at Darley. He has about 17% black type horses to starters, which is better than all other stallions standing under $50,000 and honestly ranks up there with some of the best stallions in Kentucky. Midshipman can get you a sales horse with 2020 yearlings bringing 150,000, 135,000, and 120,000. In 2020, Midshipman is the sire of eight black type winners and 16 black type horses, notably a two year old filly Wink, who's owned by Stone Street and trained by Wesley Ward, as well as Bohemian Bourbon, who is owned by Bourbon Lane Stable and trained by Ian Wilkes. show you Enticed. Enticed was new in 2020, so he'll be starting his second year at stud and standing for $7,500. Enticed, I like to say, he ticks all the boxes for a stallion prospect. First, he's a big, imposing son of Medallia Dioro. He's out of three-time grade one winner, It's Tricky. He broke his maiden on debut at Saratoga when he was a two-year-old. He was grade one placed in the Champagne and won the Grade 2 Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes. At three, he won the Grade 3 Gotham Stakes and placed in the Wood Memorial behind Vino Rosso, the eventual Breeders' Cup Classic winner of 2019. Enticed had great support in his first year at stud. He brought 148 mares, and we're looking forward to seeing his first foals in 2021. to look at a stern. A stern is a reverse shuttle stallion in America and he will stand for $7,500 in 2021. He is the highest rated son of Medallia de Oro with 126 time form rating. His first crop in America will be two-year-olds in 2021 and we couldn't be more excited about them. They're going to great homes like for example Kenny McPeak, Donato Alani and Ben McElroy have been successful purchasers. As a high quality son of Medalli Duro, who is at a little bit of a lower price point, a Stern himself was a top two year old in Australia. He won two group races and was the favorite for the grade one golden slipper. And he won his grade one sprinting in the group one golden rose. A Stern's pedigree is absolutely steeped in precocity and speed. His first four dams all won it too. He's out of an Exceedin Excel mare. Exceedin Excel himself, who's one of the top speed influences and best two-year-old sires in the world. A Stern is a powerfully made horse. He's got great balance, bone, and strength, and has been well supported in the American market so far, breeding nearly 300 mares in his first three crops. I am so excited to see his two-year-old's run in 2021 in America. Thanks so much for watching our Stallion Show. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Darren Fox, or Kate Hardy, and we look forward to working with you on your mares in the 2021 breeding season.